Rosie you've heard, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are doing the big final thing that you can do in the game, which is to go through every single level and find secret runes, which unlock a secret final level. We've done everything else leading up to this. We've played through all the levels on, at least, you know, the basic default difficulty. Um, we have, uh, you know, played through all the main levels. We beat the story we went through and got all the four secret missions. And now there's one final secret level that can only be unlocked if you find every secret rune in every level. We've already found one of them in episode 11, which was in Pumpkin Pasture. So if you wanna go and see that one, go ahead and check that out. But we're actually a pretty high level now. We're level 35 um, and the recommended highest default is 27. So I wanted to see in adventure mode, the lowest is 33, so I can actually handle this. So I might just, you know, go through like this, and there's some new weapons to find too. Since you guys have already seen me play these levels, I might not like include my commentary throughout the entire thing. I might just sort of talk when something interesting is happening, but we just gotta go through each level and try to find all the runes. So we should technically have two of the runes already. You get one rune for finding the cathedral, which we've done in previous episodes, and then you get another rune for, um, um, in pumpkin pasture since we've already done that one. So we're two out of 10 already. Uh, and we'll just keep chipping away until we find other ones. But yeah, now we're here. And it'll be interesting tackling this difficulty, but I think we'll be able to handle it. I might jump in between difficulties depending on the level because, you know, I don't know how much experience I'll end up getting here. And I'll probably, as soon as I find the secret rune, I'm probably going to hop out and just go to the next level. So I might hop between adventure and default, but as long as I can keep up with adventure, I would like to, so. Yeah, I will actually have to go through the levels decently thoroughly, but nothing super crazy, I don't think. It should be pretty clear. Um, like last time, we would find like a button at Pumpkin Pastures. I'm pretty sure that's how it is for all of them. Okay, I don't wanna keep the map up the entire time. It is a little distracting. But yeah, we have a pretty decent setup right now. We got these pretty cool little um, sickles that swing around real fast. Lots of enemies out. Luckily, I got some fire arrows too. There we go. And I, I have some pretty high level stuff at the moment, but I'm hoping that as we continue, we'll find more rare stuff. And that's where I'm excited for it being a higher level and there being potentially more loot. I'm hoping that we can find new artifacts at these levels too. That would be awesome. There we go. Oh no, oh, I need some health. Yeah, I'm expecting that. It might be a little bit harder for me to catch up because one thing I haven't played in a couple days and another thing is that, um, you know, it's a higher difficulty than we're used to even, so. There we go. Not too bad, because I ended up doing a lot of grinding trying to find the secret missions. They were a little bit more difficult to find than I expected, at least for the Pumpkin Pastures one. You guys know that by now. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep chipping our way through this, and if we find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Oh, it looks like we just reached level 37. Enchantment point earned. I actually think that everything we currently have is maxed out, but I'm hoping that throughout today's episode, we'll find better and better gear, and <laughs> that'll definitely help with um, filling things out well. So, for right now though, I am just going to keep chipping away. It looks like I gotta go that way, so I'm gonna go this way instead, because I, I think I know where this one is, because I remember getting stuck up on some secrets that seemed like a bigger deal than what they ended up being. Um, and I think a lot of those ended up being secrets that would have opened the secret area. <laughs> okay, we got enchanted cows. We don't find these every day. Um, what do they drop? Really not too much, but. <laughs> yeah, we would find secret areas, and it just felt like they led to nothing, and I think a lot of those were actually some of the runes, but they're not unlocked until you beat the game. So, I think that's what was going on there. All right, well hopefully these enchanted cows give a lot of experience. It really should, I would hope, because of how tough they are to defeat. They don't drop anything, though. But yeah, I'll just keep chipping away at stuff, and we'll, let, I'll let you know when, when we run into something else. Is this my first time finding just an ax? I don't think so. But um, it looks pretty good, it's 40. Um, maybe I'll try this out for a bit. It does have double upgrade slots, so that's pretty good. But, um, oh, it's a slow swing now. So I'll keep trying this for a bit. Um, we'll read the description with the ax is a, an effective weapon uh, favored by the relentless vindicators of the Arch Illager's army. Spin attack move 90 to 139 damage. Nothing too special about it beyond that though, so I'll try it for a little bit, and if not, I'll probably switch back to what I had. Whoa, nice, this is new, I think. This is the soul bow, maybe, maybe not. I'm pretty sure that's new. Either way, we'll try it, 38. Um, so for this one, it has soul gathering. Uh, the soul bow shimmers with the beauty of fury and uh, of an attacking vex. That sounds new to me. So that is way more equipped than this is has slightly less damage, but does it does have soul gathering, so maybe we could work with that a little bit. You know what, let's go ahead and do that and do a soul soul loadout. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just put this right over the fire arrows, just like that, 
Um, and we'll just try kidding this one out a little bit then. We already have three points, so I could take a look at what, the, what it has. Unchancing projectiles deal more damage to enchanted enemies. Um, gives a chance to deal triple damage based on the number of souls you have. That's good. And infinity. Chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting. I'm, I'm thinking this one might be our go-to. Um, on top of that, we have Accelerate, which um, increases the attack speed for each consecutive shot. Um, boosts arrow pushback. And then finally, Rapid Fire increases your attack speed. I think I like this one. So... You know what, if we're already putting, oh, I'll, I'll keep trying it for a little bit, but then I might eventually recycle that other bow. Um, but this area has been quite the, I don't know, it just keeps going. I don't think I've been here before. <laughs> well, we got another ax, so I'm slowly chipping away at changing my setup a bit. Yeah, this definitely is not something that loaded in the last time I played this level, but hey, cool to see it now, that's for sure. Uh, we're almost halfway through all the chests and more than halfway through for all the, the secrets, so that's pretty cool. So we're at the objective where we free the villagers. I've been looking through the level thoroughly just in case, but I'm pretty sure I know what I gotta do here, so. I do switch back to the sickles, by the way. I just feel like they are a better weapon overall than the axe. The axe just swings a little too slowly for right now, but luckily the damage gap isn't too big between the two, so we're fine. But yeah, when we're freeing the villagers, which we can free a couple, sure, why not? I don't know if that gives us like experience or anything, so it might be worth doing. But um, over this way, you might remember, there was like some peculiar like gravestone area and with it, there was like, I don't remember, I just remember being able to do something and then nothing happened. But it seemed pretty significant for nothing to happen. I remember looking around like, what? Be yeah, right around here. Oh, here we go. There's a button here, just like there was with the other one. So I press that, this opens. We also picked up a soul robe there. That might work with our current setup pretty well. But down this way, would you look at that? Boom, we got ourselves a soul. <laughs> Not a soul, but a rune. Um, so this is our third rune. We still have plenty more of these to go, but I'm glad that we got it for this level. Awesome. So I could keep going through this level or I could quit from here. I think that I'm just gonna quit from here because I mean, I'll ha head out and see, just like poke to see how long more we have for this level. Cause I think it still goes on for a little bit. So I think that we will return to camp with that um, because I don't want this, this episode to take me like an hour and a half to record. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the next level now, which is, um, where is it? Uh, so yeah, that didn't count as completing the level in this difficulty, which is sort of a shame, um, but you can already see if I wanna go to Cacti Canyon or something, or even Soggy Cave, I'm not quite at the power for that. So I think that's where I'm going to switch back to default and work with that for a little bit. So back to Soggy Cave um, at this level, and we'll just sort of see what we can do to find that secret. So after a lot of searching, after you defeat the boss, it looks like it's right here. <laughs> This is at the very end of the level. You press the button, it opens up the door, and we go in. There we go. <laughs> cool. I'm glad that was it. It seems like that button is exclusive to finding the rune. I haven't seen a button like that that doesn't open up a rune. So hopefully uh, that continues. But yeah, there's another one. So we gladly want to take that. Um, so yeah, we're four down, I guess. Five to go. That's pretty exciting. But yeah, we're just going to keep making progress. But you know, we're at the end of the level, so I might as well just end it normally. <laughs> and we'll move on to the next one now. I did decide that I will upgrade to this soul robe, which is three points better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and salvage that. It's been a long time coming. Sort of sad to see it go. And on top of that, we will also salvage this long though. It's been, you know, long enough that I can see that I sort of like this setup. So I think we're just gonna go for this for a little bit. Um, so first off, the soul bow. Um, we just wanna upgrade that a little bit. And same thing with the rapid fire. Not too bad to do. And then also with this, I don't have enough points to upgrade it all the way, but we can work on it a little bit. We have the soul speed whenever gathering. When you gather a soul, you gain a 1% stacking movement speed boost for a short time, sounds amazing. Recycler being hit by damage inflicting projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows. And then snowball, fires a snowball at a nearby enemy every few seconds, briefly stunning it. I'm thinking out of all these, this would be pretty cool to have. So gonna upgrade that. And also we have frenzied. Cooldown reduces the cooldown time uh, between uses of your artifacts and electrified. So that's three, yeah, that's when I roll. Honestly, this sounds best to me, um, but we're gonna mostly focus on this for right now. And then we can look back at this and see what I, I can upgrade. So if I can get three more points, I can upgrade a little bit more there, which shows you it's still worth it to get more and more level ups for right now though. Um, also, that was all Soggy Swamp, not Soggy Cave. I'm sorry I made that mistake, but now I'm going to Cacti Canyon and seeing what extra stuff I can get done there. Oh, and I got a level up. I didn't even realize I was that close, but I guess I was. So yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, this is not going very well. 
<laughs> gotta get used to our newfound speed. I was sort of jumping around there a little faster than I was expecting. But yeah, we got to level another level, but I can't quite afford any upgrades right now. But we're level 38, so we're getting closer to the big 4-0. That's pretty cool. Hopefully we can get to level 50 sooner or later, but for right now, <laughs> one step at a time, I guess. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's activate that. He's about to throw some enemies my way. Um, I don't know where the door is opening exactly. Oh, it's over there, okay. I think that's it. <laughs> if not, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I guess it's behind the key over here, right? Um, I don't think I need the key, but we'll go this way. Aha, yeah, that worked. Awesome, I also got halfway through level 38, so that was cool. Let's hope that doesn't break anything. Um, but there we go, we get another rune. So happy about this one. So with this one, we're already five out of 10. Like we're halfway there already, that's crazy. I mean, it's taken me about 40 minutes to get to this point, but even then I feel like we're doing some great stuff and making some good progress. So I think that with this, I should just be able to lead this level now. So let's uh, return to camp and yeah, so far so good. Um, I might swing by the cathedral to check my progress, but then after that, I am going to go to the next level, which would be Redstone Mines. Pretty cool. I'm really building up speed now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so once you get enough of the, uh, the what's it called here? <laughs> once you get enough of the, the souls, you build up some major speed and you just can't be stopped. This is better than our other speed setup right now. This is crazy. Um, and eventually it starts to slow down, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Wow. That just didn't stop for a while though. Um, oh wow, they all got stunned at a perfect timing there. And there we go, using the TNT quite well. Stun them all again, let's back it up. Getting close to level 39, but I just had to talk about how fast we were moving there. It's just about gathering the souls. With each soul that you gather, you just have a chance of like stacking that stuff up crazier and crazier. <laughs> it gets really ridiculous. What am I doing? What button did I press? I don't know. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I changed my bow. Hold on, can I leave you guys be for a second? Why is it shooting that way? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're at the place where we're trying to free six villagers. We'll free all six of them just to be nice. But yeah, this is, I just saw the button over there. Uh, so that's awesome. We'll go ahead and figure that out. So that opens the door, but if you press this button right here, there we go. Okay, and we'll go inside. This'll be number six. Very cool, so close level 39 as well. So we made some good progress throughout today's level, or not today's level, but this level. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as soon as it's available, go ahead and grab that rune. Okay, so we're six out of 10, four more left to find. Hopefully it goes well. But now, we're returning to camp. Um, so yeah, that was Redstone Mines. I don't remember what's next. Of course, we've already done pumpkin pastures, like I said, um, but it looks like the next one would then be Desert Temple. So we'll head to Desert Temple and we'll try to find the next one. And there we go, there's level 39. We also picked up, I think, um, a new sword, but it is not even better than what we currently have. It's a soul knife, so it's not sort of new at all. But yeah, we're up to two points now. I don't think that's enough to upgrade anything. Actually, yeah, okay, it's not. So I'll keep working on stuff though. We'll get there eventually. Whoa, is there a switch over here? Is this new? Yeah, I thought so. I was like, what is that? What is, is this it? This might not be it. Oh no it is, okay. This is the first um, secret thing we've had that wasn't a button, but instead was a lever. So that's a little bit different, but either way, the, you know, it's still the uh, rune. A rune is a rune after all. So here is number seven. So glad to have that one. So we'll leave this room just in case that counts for anything. Um, and then we'll head out. We're actually going a lot faster now, which is really cool, especially now that I'm sort of mastering this extra speed mechanic with the souls. Um, it's going by a whole lot faster for me, so um, that's great. So we got that level done. Next up is going to be after the Redstone Mines and the Desert Temple is the Fiery Forge. So I'm gonna move over to this one now. Oh, you know what, I do remember this. So we just entered the uh, the Fiery Forge part of it. Um, and I remember hitting, or I think there was a lever. I remember looking around this area and thinking there should be something. And I guess it just wasn't available at the time, but now there is, so look at that. And it's just gonna right away lead into this. Okay, cool. So this one was actually one of the easiest so far, just right there. Um, did not even have to go very far into the level. Seems like the later we get into the game, the easier the runes are for whatever reason. Hey, I'm not complaining. So there's that. Awesome to get that out of the way. Um, and now we're just gonna go back over here and I think we're good to lead the level, uh, return to camp. So that is number eight out of 10. I gotta find nine and 10 as well, of course. Um, so I would imagine they're gonna get difficult sooner or later, right? Um, 
but who knows? So uh, let me go over to high block calls and I'll let you know when I find it. Whoa, I think I, did I, oh, I think I found something. Okay, so this area actually, I never got to explore too much either way because I accidentally went down the well a little too soon and you can't backtrack to this area, but there's a wall at some point. So I might as well take my time and explore it a little bit here. As you can see, we got some super speed going on and I want to keep that. <laughs> so keep attacking everybody whenever I can. Um, there we go. Okay, I lost it though. That happens, it's fine. Um, we can still gain some of it back if we uh, keep burning up souls. There we go, get that one zombie over that way. Nice. Uh, roll over here. We just keep stacking up our sprint as well because that just gives us swiftness. There we go. I never saw this uh, arch illager statue. Anyways, yeah, that's sort of the way we go here. Apparently there was a, a yeah, there was a, a key somewhere. I don't think I have it at the moment. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and pull this now that I explored that a little bit more. And that just opens this up. So once again, another room and this is it. <laughs> This one uh, did not need the, the pressure plate. But hey, we still figured it out. There we go. So that means that was our second to last rune, or at least once we collect it. Don't forget that part. There we go. Second to last rune collected. That means we have one more to go on the final level. Let's get to it. That's gonna be great. Um, return to camp for right now and see how that goes. So it's taken me about an hour so far to do all this. <laughs> We'll see how much it is by the end of it, but uh, for right now, I gotta go over to the Obsidian Pinnacle and try to find that last one. So I have a feeling I know exactly where this one is, because there was an area I kept checking out, like there has to be something here, and there never was, and I think I know that now that it was the room. So yeah, we're gonna work on that now and see if it's over here. This, there's this little library area. I'm sort of stuck, that was weird. Okay, um, yeah, I just can't get through. Okay, this guy's like stuck and trying to attack him makes me stuck. That's weird. Um, anyways, there we go. Couple more enemies over this way. Oh, I just put my mouse over it. You can see there's a little book. <laughs> awesome, so pull that little book. And that definitely wasn't there before. I searched this area thoroughly before, especially since I got stuck in this level so many times. Uh, and there we go. This one actually doesn't have its own little room. It's just in here. And we also get a golden and a diamond chest. Wow. All stuff I already have, but this might be a nice little area to just like routinely go to to try to get some extra stuff. But anyways, there we go, our 10th and final rune. I can't believe we're almost level 40. Uh, hopefully we'll do that soon. But there we go, we got it. Now I don't know if I'm actually gonna be tackling this final level in today's episode. I don't even know what we gotta do yet. Is it just like open? I don't see anything new. Um, Nope, not what I wanted. Um, so I'm guessing what I have to do then, of course, is to go back over here. Combine all our, our runes in some way and see what ends up happening. This is really exciting now. So here we are. Very fancy. It's so cryptic in here because it's so open and there's just nobody. But you know, what happens now if I click the little doggy? Um, Nothing, but I guess that's a good sign then. So what happens if I press the button one more time? All 10 runes come together. The door opens. Wow, what is going on? Oh my gosh. New location unlocked. Huh? Who knows what that is? We also get the feral soul crossbow, which is worse than what we currently have. And also the rapid crossbow and some arrows. Wow. So yeah, whoa, there it is. So what is the required level for this? Oh, we can do this right now though, we can handle that. You know what? Sure, let's go for it. I've already put in an hour of my time, might as well put in a little bit more. So yeah, we can definitely handle this. I thought it was gonna be like level 50 or something crazy like that. We can handle this for sure. Doesn't have anything new, disappointingly, but let's go into the question mark secret mission and see what we can find inside here. This is exciting. Oh, I don't know what this is gonna be. I probably should have read the, the, uh, the story to it. Um, uh, too little too late. <laughs> I'll, I'll read it later. Whoa. <gasps> oh, we got mushroom cows. It's like a mushroom island. Whoa. Oh, this is so cool. We're all on the secret mushroom island with all of the mushroom cows. <laughs> That's so cool. Is there supposed to be narration here? I guess not. Wow, moo, <laughs> I like it. Or do we have to fight the cows though? Oh, they'll sort of make me feel bad. Will they fight me? 
Ah, they will. Okay, then it's on then. So let's see how tough these guys are. So far, not too bad. <laughs> so it's the secret cow island. This is cool. I wish there were more levels like this. But man, this is awesome. So yeah, let's go at it and we'll just do what we can with everything. Um, can we get up that way? I don't see a way to, but there might be. Um, anyways, there's a level four and it gets all the cows level up enchantment point earns. So I should have enough now to upgrade my stuff a little bit more, um, which I might wait until the cows are not attacking me. I guess we're gonna keep attacking until the cows come home. The thing is now we're at the cows' home. Oh, so maybe over this way? Whoop. Oh, look at this secret. Whoops. <laughs> oh, hold on, that's not the secret. Let's try that again. But you can tell there's a little loop around here. Um, there we go. Go for it again. There it is. So what's happening around here then? Oh, there's a little bounce pad. Whoa. Wait, that didn't seem like much. Okay, that's not right. There's gotta be something more here. I don't know. I'm not seeing much. Weird. Well, that was a little disappointing. Not anything of interest over this way then. Well, lesson learned. Uh, maybe sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. You know how this game is. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely gonna be exploring this level as much as we can. There we go. Oh my gosh, so many cows, and they're now all angry at me. They're all taking me on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, work on the cows a little bit. <laughs> That's all there is to work on. Is there gonna be any other enemies around here besides cows? I wonder. Oh, hit him with the ma major shots right now. It works out quite well with that. And helps me save some arrows too. So what's across the bridge? More cows, what do you know? And a lot of them. Um, yeah, work my way out of there because I just don't wanna get destroyed. Because even though we actually do have quite a high power advantage over this, they're tough. They're bringing the difficulty right now. So is this the way I'm supposed to go? It's not. Which means that hopefully there's something cool to find here. And it's not just a weird dead end. But hey, there's more cows, we'll get more experience. We've already gotten a decent chunk through level 40. Hoping to see more of that. There we go. That's good. Come on now. Oh my gosh, it's just so many cows. A never ending list of them. I'm sure this level seems like a pretty good one to earn up some easy experience too. There's just stacks on stacks of cows to take on. Why wouldn't it be, you know? So that's pretty cool. This is like a really long tangent too. Anyways, now might be a good chance to at the least upgrade what I currently have, so um, Upgrade that real quick. I knew that you were coming up on me. I heard <laughs> I heard you mooing all the way up here. Okay. They're tough though. They don't let up. There it is. Okay. Luckily we're landing some critical hits here and there. That definitely makes a big difference, but it's still a lot. It is still a whole bunch to keep up with. There we go. Excellent. Just trying to find that perfect line to just hit as many of them as possible. But there we go. Nothing over that way. <laughs> I have to check where there might be uh, things of interest, but yeah, we're definitely at this rate gonna hit level 41 here as well, so that's great. Hmm. Anything down this way? More cows. <laughs> There's always gonna be more cows, I think. I hear them at the least, there they are. Uh, I don't know why the game audio stopped, that was weird. Uh, anyways, keep going. But yeah, this was, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was gonna be like an Arch Illager rematch or something crazy like that. But nope, it's Cow Island. It makes me think, of course, like I've said before, I think it's later next month um, in July. Oh, here we go, got the Claymore. Um, in July, there should be um, brand new DLC releasing. I think it's supposed to be jungle themed, which is exciting. But would you want to see, of course, like a new secret level with new runes to find? I think that'd be cool. Hopefully they definitely jam pack it with secrets, but for right now, this was a pretty cool ending reward to everything. 
I'm glad that we could do it on our current, oh gosh, ability level. It's gonna try to hop up on that mushroom and reach that, but you know, maybe not worth worrying about. It's only a couple of emeralds. Don't really know if I even need those at this point. We'll run back this way, because there were a couple of cows to take on. What do you know? Wow, 959 damage hit there. Having all these souls gives us like a higher chance for critical, I think. I'll grab that apple and this one too. And I think, yeah, we're just good to, ow, <laughs> ball down this way. Start taking them on. A lot more cows waiting for me around here. There we go. Because I think they're called mushroom cows. I've run into these guys a little bit in my Minecraft adventures, but hopefully again soon. There we go. Awesome. And what do we got over this way? It looks like a lot more, <laughs> a lot more cows. I don't think we're gonna be seeing anything different. I wonder how they're gonna end a level like this then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With a more larger group of mushroom cows. That's how. Okay, run back, run back. Oh my gosh, this is just too many. Which way are we supposed to be going? That way. So that means that this is the bonus way, so I should be able to find bonus cows. There we go. Trying to find a decent enough group of them so I can throw that at you. And I got them all down to one hit. Oh wow, this actually leads over this way then. Is it all gonna loop back together? It's not. I missed a chest back there. I'll definitely go back and grab it. Well, this is a big group of them. This is what I should have saved the TNT for, but. Oh well. I'm sure we'll run into more TNT soon. So let's use the potion now so that I can start restoring it. Oh my gosh, it just never ends. Just trying to get them to line up in a way that we can hit as many as possible. This is where the spread shot would be so useful. Um, but I sort of like our setup a lot right now. I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think we're gonna get taken out or anything. Sometimes I do pack a punch, but so do we. There we go. But there is still so much more to this area. It just keeps going. Nothing over here, right? Not this time. Gotcha, at least a little bit. Oh no, <laughs> here comes the herd. And it's not the zebra herd, it's the mushroom herd. Oh gosh. There we go. Not too bad. Does charging up that shot make it more powerful? It actually looks like it doesn't. When I'm just using normal arrows, it does. But when I'm not, when I'm using the uh, the soul arrows, it doesn't really seem to do much. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Throw that TNT right down that way. I think there were a couple more cows over here. Maybe not. Okay, I'll roll over that way. A whole group of them still showing up. But I never checked this area out. A whole bunch of nothing. If we could find some new gear around, some you know, unique stuff, that would be cool. So far, not the case. I haven't found too many unique you know, stuff in general. The only thing I really found was in the cathedral earlier, but even that was a little bit weaker than what we already have. I might check it out though, because it still might be in the same range of what we currently have, and that would be pretty good enough. But having a soul bow for our soul focused uh, build is still pretty good, so I don't know if I wanna mess with that. There we go. So there's a lot of cows waiting for us down that way. I'll be getting to them momentarily. I definitely wanna activate my potion now. But geez, this just keeps going. This level's longer than I expected. Oh, here we go. What do we got in this chest? A soul crossbow. Um, Which we currently just have a soul bow. So maybe a soul crossbow would be better, worse, something like that. I'm not really sure, but it is a lower overall power than what we currently have. Um, getting some of that. Oh my gosh. More than I was expecting. And there we go, there is level 41 already. So reaching both level 40 and 41 um, on this level. And I'm sure at this rate, we might re reach level 42. Multiple level ups might be in our near future. Okay, this is the last set of these guys, so. Beat them up one by one if I have to. There we go. I feel bad, these mushrooms were just chilling out on this island and here I am taking them all out. But hey, they did take the first bite out of me. <laughs> so who knows. Um, 
let's head off over this way. Then we'll have to go back and grab that chest that we missed. Oh, man, this area just it kept going and going, the side area. Quite the tangent. But I love extra content like this in games. Just having super secret stuff that you can really only get if you're like extra completionist. That's always so much fun. So where's that chest? I don't know. Is it down here? It is indeed. Luckily, it's not too big of a deal of a chest, but I will still try to get it. Um, not that way, but uh, I go like, not that, <laughs> okay. Um, where am I? I'm over here now. Okay, maybe it's not worth getting. Uh, I don't know if it's worth wasting all that health for something that's probably just some emeralds and some arrows, so. Gonna leave it be. Usually the brown chests don't have too much exciting in it. If I, you know, miss a chest, we know that that's not big of a deal in this game. There we go. Gotta be careful with my health. Don't want these cows to start taking me over. There we go. Cool. And there's actually buildings here. Did the mushrooms build this? I don't know, that's probably why we should have read the story section before we went into this. I'll definitely be reading it um, once I uh, leave this level. But yeah, I'm a little confused here. Whoa, oh no, no, my TNT, I was gonna throw that. Okay, no, I still have it, good. Look at this though. Ready, jump over like that. You guys are in so much trouble, so much. No, no, come on, that was baloney. That was like two times of baloney. Okay, one more time. They are all just stuck up here though. I sort of feel bad taking them out like this, but. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I can hop over this way and then hop over like that. Ah! <laughs> this level is ridiculous. It is just totally ridiculous. So we did that though. I don't have to worry about it now. I can just go this way instead. And there's another big group of them over here too. Isn't that odd? There we go. Got rid of some of these guys. Excellent. And you. Sometimes my character gets a little stuck. It's like they get confused on which way they're supposed to be going. There we go. So I could hop over like this. Maybe not the biggest deal in the world to do that. But I can land some major damage, so trying to make the most of that. Uh, why did he roll that way? I'm getting tired of getting re revived at this area. <laughs> I think I've done it enough. So we're not doing that again. Just don't even bother with that. Don't hop on those little islands. There's no need for me to. All right, we have a full soul meter, so I shouldn't have any problem just going in here and taking them out like this. Yeah, I'd say we're about a fourth of the way through um, level 41 already, so that's some pretty good stuff to see. Oh, here we go. Another big group. But it's just so easy to take out these groups this way. Ooh, got ourselves a mace there. Um, wow, that's a really far flying TNT. It's not gonna get all of them, but it does get a decent chunk of them. They're not happy with me. Um, there we go. Be cool if there were different variations on the mushrooms, like like some kind of like creeper mushroom that explodes, or like a skeleton mushroom that fires arrows, something like that, just to make this a little bit more variety. But it's still just interesting to see. There we go. But yeah, I'm hoping that with the jungle DLC, we see a whole lot more ocelots because we didn't see any, I don't think. Because we had the um, the llama and we have the uh, wolf, but we don't have an ocelot or a cat, you know, or a dog. I mean, I guess, well, the, that's sort of the thing. The wolves can't be turned into dogs, can they? But the ocelots can be turned into just normal house cats, I think, unless I'm misremembering. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a weird difference <laughs> if that is the case. Maybe they'll change that one day. But yeah, I would love to see an Ocelot companion as like a, a thing. Or even on top of that, the parrots. I would love to see the parrots for sure. Okay, there we go. And there looks like there's a little extra area over this way, so we'll see if there's anything cool. Get that extra stuff, wow, that's a lot. I definitely need to be careful here because I am starting to run low on souls and we need to keep as many of those as we can so that we can keep using the arrows when we really need them. There we go. I'll use my potion now. 
And we're already back on full. Luckily, with our current setup, we earn souls so easily that all I need to do is take out a couple of them. And I, I'm back up to full. Or at least full enough to use more arrows to get me out of a bind. There we go. Okay. So that seems to be about everything in this area. Because, yeah, we had that one chest, but apparently there are zero out of zero secrets. So I don't know if we really should be searching th so thoroughly. I mean, if not anything else, it's great for the experience. Like I said, level 41, almost 42. So once again, we're supposed to be going forward here. Wow, that is a lot of uh, mushroom cows on that bridge. Okay, I'm sort of stuck. Uh, there we go. Roll back down that way and finish him off. What are you doing? <laughs> just attack the cow. I think it was getting confused with me clicking the bridge when I was just trying to click that cow. That was weird. Gotta be careful of that. Tossing that over that way though. Back up a little bit. That sent them a lot of them flying, which is good. <laughs> just, they're just walking right into me right now. But the bridge is like an excellent lineup for something like that. Okay, hey guys, you wanna Come on down like that. Perfect for me. There we go. Okay. Look at all these guys. Wow, wow. Okay, grab the TNT quick. Um, just toss it back like that. Maybe not exactly necessary. Probably could have found a bigger group of them to take on with that, but. Still helped out, so can't complain too much. Just trying to work our way up to level 42 now. And I don't really have too much I can use the points for just yet. But we'll, we'll keep building it up. I think we need three points, of course, to get to the next thing, so. But soon enough, we'll need a whole lot more level ups because, you know, we're eventually gonna get weapons and armor that have three slots instead of two. So that's where it's gonna be useful for all that. Anyways, go ahead and make sure we get that guy. Okay. And there's our level up, level 42. Like I said, that's not really gonna do too much for us right now. Um, but in time, it definitely will. Yeah, we haven't found too much like crazy stuff in the way of weapons. And there aren't really too many chests to find, so I don't know if this is the best level for grinding up new loot, exactly. But for everything else, it seems pretty nice. Anyways, we got this TNT out of all that, so <laughs> we'll be sure to use it as soon as we have the opportunity. What an interesting experience this has been so far. We might be coming up on the end. I mean, I, that looks a little bit like a weird area over there. So we'll see what that's all about. I don't see any more cows. Yeah, it's sort of just jumping over and... I don't like this. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Where did all the cows go? Um, whoa. Mushroom monstrosity? Oh man, new objective moo! This is bad. Okay, well that's gonna get you, right? It did, but it just didn't do very much damage. Oh, I'm in so much trouble here, but luckily we have a whole bunch of arrows to use on you, and we got Mushroom Cows to take down. Um, so I'll definitely be trying to make the most of everything here. There we go, ow. Oh, that hurts, oh, that really hurts. You have so much health. Oh man, this went from going really well to maybe not so well. Okay, keep firing arrows. Those aren't doing any damage. Okay, now it is. I really don't want to get up close for uh, normal weapon damage, I don't think. Whoop. See, that's sort of the weird thing about this game. Dodging doesn't work the same way it does in other games. It's weird. Okay, dodge that stuff then. There we go. Take out the mushroom cows while I have the chance. Our potion is something we're still waiting on here. Um, are those hitting him at all, or am I just missing every shot? I am really good at this game! Uh, there we go. Because I am slowly but surely getting lower on arrows. And we haven't even gotten past the you know, first little bit of his health. Yeah, it gets really tough when we have to dodge the flying mushrooms of doom. <laughs> doom mushrooms. There we go. See that? I don't know if that's really worth doing more than just normal arrows. Okay, so we got him past the first quarter or third of his health. 
Oh my gosh. No. No! We died. That's fine. We still have more lives, but this is insanely ridiculous. Okay. Back over to it, though. And once again, I'm still very worried about our overall health here. Because I can chip away at him like this, but... This actually isn't going so bad. Ow, okay, I spoke too soon. As long as he doesn't get any closer to me, I should be fine. And as long as he doesn't spawn in an amount of, uh, there we go, um, an am amount of mushrooms that is too difficult to uh, deal with. He just keeps firing those things out. Okay, come on, we almost have him down to his last third. We still have 60 arrows here. Yeah, I don't know if those really are worth doing. I don't think they're doing much for me. Come on, so I'm in big trouble if I run out of arrows. <laughs> this just keeps going. It doesn't stop, <laughs> no! Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Use a potion now, maybe. Um, yeah, he's sort of inched closer is the problem. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I need to back it up and find a better angling. It just stinks, because that was perfect. Oh my gosh, stop it. Almost got you here. Don't do this to me now. Okay, now. Okay, this is ridiculous. Ah, uh, no. I just need to wait around for my potion. I need to wait around for that potion to pop back up because I'm in so much trouble and I'd really rather not lose any more lives. Okay, get rid of this guy. There we go. Ah, uh, here come more of them. Let's just do this to him then. Got that potion. Ow, that hurt. Be careful. Oh my gosh. He just doesn't stop firing sometimes and it's ridiculous. Okay, Mr. Cow, I need you to move. I can't see what's going on right now. He just won't stop. He won't stop. Oh my gosh. Fire at him, fire at him, fire at him. I'm out of arrows. Okay, we gotta go in. We gotta go in and attack him like this. I died again. This isn't fair. Don't. Give up on me when I'm this close to beating him. Okay, ready? Jump over and just go crazy. It won't even let me. It won't even let me. It won't even let me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There it is! Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Wow! Leave the island. Don't mind if I do. Woo! We got a mace. Level 34. This is... 35, um, so it's still worse than what we currently have. This mace engraved with secret healing runes grants powerful restorative powers. It is the sun's grace heals allies in the area. So that's pretty cool if you were playing multiplayer. Wow, look at this. Very fancy looking. <laughs> Not much here for us, but I guess there was just a boat on the other side. Victory, we did it. <laughs> what an adventure it's been. So much fun but also ridiculous, finding all 10 runes and going to the Mushroom Island. Crazy stuff, right? And we found 99% of the mobs, players down two, they were both me, 70 or 67% of the chest open. We know where the last one was, it was just too much of a pain to get. And we get another Harvester. Not too much exciting in terms of rewards, but that was something else, wasn't it? And if we take a look at the story, Moo? Moo! Moo! <laughs> all right. Interesting. So yeah, there was the super secret final level to Minecraft Dungeons. Stay tuned for next month when I play the game. Uh, again, we'll be playing for the DLC, which should be jungle themed. Very excited for that. Um, let me know if you wanna see more in the meantime, maybe. Um, but if not, we got plenty of other awesome games coming up. Uh, we've been playing, of course, Animal Crossing. I plan on playing more of Minecraft, soon normal Minecraft. And in July as well, there's a new Paper Mario game. So lots of cool stuff coming up for you guys to watch. I hope you're excited for it. But for right now, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.